What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just Roll With It. My name is Grizzly. I'm the DM of this show, the campaign Riptide, and these are the boys. However, uh, Charlie, don't introduce yourself because your character's <laughs> gone. <laughs> ah, that, you did it, man. You called out my bit. That I was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just sit there in your chair and cry, you little baby boy. Now, yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, I'm my Condi. name is Bizley, and I play That's Chip. Bizley. I'm, I'm Condi. I play Jay. And what's up, guys? <laughs> My name is Charlie Slimesicle. <laughs> and, and he's depressed. <laughs> and? There's nothing but pain behind those eyes. Um, that's that's me. Uh, <laughs> we should we should have a good fun time with Gillian um, before he's gone. Before forever. he's like actually gone. So yeah, the card. It says we can do one last bit. We're walking in to an ice cream shop. Okay, you walk into the ice cream shop. There's one worker, and it's. Felipe, he goes, hey, welcome to a bit of Jerry's. I draw my sword and I say, where's Ben? Ben, ben doesn't exist, man. I look back at the sign and it just says Jerry. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's, this is welcome to Jerry's ice cream. <laughs> where's Jerry? Ben, just stop right there. Shut up. If you say his name, he'll die too. I look back at the sign. There's nothing there. <laughs> welcome to Felipe's uh, ice cream shop. What have you done? Felipe. Uh, don't say my name or I'll just fucking disappear. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here at Felipe's ice cream shop. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? I guess now it's our ice cream shop. I'm gonna get the kite again. Um, You're not aware that saying your name will make you disappear and die like Gillian did. Yeah. I don't know, Jay. What do I, what do I want here? <laughs> What's up? Ding, ding. It's me, Charlie Slimesicle. Mind if I chip in? Can you help me figure out what kind of ice cream I want? <laughs> no, I can't because you're dead. He what? said, can I chip in? You're dead, bro. You're dead. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll have chocolate chip. That's the problem with your name being just a word. Huh? <laughs> Where we last left off, the three of you, chip. Jay and Gillian started, oh. began, and succeeded with your improv show at the Big Top Extravaganza here in Cassis Carnival in the fucking Feywild. However, the journey continues just as Bellstrom, a bar that you met, uh, turned surprisingly evil <laughs> by the deck of many things, shattered the mermaid's glass just after you uh, helped the mind propose to her, and the shards of glass shooting off into the audience, killing multiple fairgoers and audience members, uh, including a few of your participants of your improv show, such as the small Wait, what? pixie like, who was riding oh, the park. Oh, no! What? <laughs> no. Oh, shit! Fuck! And just as this chaos erupted at the end of your performance, Gillian drew a card again from the deck of many things, which you don't know the name of yet, but you know that it's magical because to you, to your vision, Chip and Jay, you see this glass bowl shatter, and then you look to Gillian, on the spot, vanishes. His armor, his clothes, everything he's carrying, the briefcase of holding, even his uh, tankard that usually, or his little small tank that holds apple, falls to the ground where he stood, and he's gone. I want all of his items to be floating there like Minecraft as well. <laughs> it is essentially like he's despawned and all of his items are just there. No, seriously, right before he left, you hear, ooh. You need to grab Destiny's Blade in the next 15 minutes or it is gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, and a red, and a red overlay covers your screen. He goes horizontally. <laughs> <laughs> and then he falls over. Yeah, he's also like made of blocks now and he's gone. <laughs> no, but like seriously, this is a serious fucking moment and don't <laughs> undermine it. You both yeah. watch Gillian disappear. Everything that he had on his body, including his armor, is gone. Like, I mean, not gone. It stays behind, but Gillian is gone. He is and, not there. And I absolutely see it happen. Like, I see him there one second or gone, or do I look over and he's gone? You would, as soon as the glass shatters, and Belsham starts like levitating up and I'll get to what they're going to say in a minute. I'm just going to give you guys a chance to process this because we're coming back mm -hmm. from Tree Week. As soon as they start floating up with their uh, with their like sort of loot that is very decorated now. Uh, also, by the way, is sort of transforming into this like metal electric sort of guitar. It looks fucking evil now. Um, <laughs> oh. they all, you also see, you would look over to Gillian, who is usually your protector, your friend, the fighter mm -hmm. of the group who just vanishes after he just pulls a card from the deck. He's now clothes on the ground. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to decide what conclusion Jay makes out of this. He well, probably turned guys, into a worm. 
Everything sort of is around you just moving in this slow motion as you watch Gillian disappear. And it's all about to hit you at once. I'll give you like one round before we roll initiative here to do one thing. Gilligan. Gillian is Gilligan. <laughs> I'm, I'm naming, I'm renaming my character sheet Gilligan for the next time. <laughs> until he comes back. Chip, what is happening right now? I'm looking puzzled at where, at where Gillian was. Where'd Gillian go? And I, I look back over to the, to the broken glass and the dead people. I can't keep track anymore. Uh, Gil, I think it is a bad time to go invisible. Things are going bad right now. Uh. No response. There's nothing. I mean, if you want to roll like a perception check. I'll, I'll roll perception to see like where he is. Even if to try and just see through like invisibility. Can I, can I do that too? You can, yeah, you can either give Chip advantage or you can roll like a different check like Arcana. I think I'd like to roll my own because I don't know how I'd give Chip advantage in this situation if that makes sense. <laughs> he gets a natural 20, he just sees like an invisible beast right next to him. Uh, um, you could probably like roll something different like investigation or, or Arcana. Uh, so you're not both perception? doing the same check. Uh, 23. I got, a, I got a 10 for perception. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for Chip, with the 10, you don't see any sign of Gillian or anything that points to where Gillian might be. Jay, you rush over and you start uh, uh, sort of brushing aside his different clothes and you see uh, on the ground a card from that deck face up that says Dungeon. And it slowly is beginning to turn to like this little sp like spectral dust that's flying away in the wind. With your with your twenty, well, no, you'd have to roll Arcana if you wanted to know what happened. Yeah, fuck it. Can I do that? Yo, come on. I, this isn't funny. Dirty twenty on Arcana. Before shit hits the fan around you, you just sort of uh, pick up that little half part of the card before it uh, starts. You know, before it's fully disintegrated and it turns to dust. And you get the vibe that this card is what made Gillian disappear. There we go. At least there's no doubts in my head at this point. And you have no idea where he is. But you know Jay he's gone. Jay slowly Ew. stands up and kind of looks around at, at all of Gillian's scattered items. And she slowly turns to Chip. Hey, Chip. Mark, what? 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 I don't think Gillian just went invisible. Where'd he go? I'm cutting you off now because <laughs> you don't have enough time to have a full-on conversation. Uh, Belstrom, yeah, who that, is now that, floating in the air like SpongeBob from the fucking at the end of his movie, uh, <laughs> transforming their clothes into something diabolical and villainous. Oh, and they look she, around. She's a goofy goober. All right, my patience has run thin. You're all incompetent and incapable of what is pristine my taste of performance. This carnival and entertainment, this <laughs> improv show, anything other than complete and utter trash. I thought it was okay. You're a waste of breath. All of you don't deserve your lives. Oh, your boring, little, insignificant lives. And all of you need to roll initiative. Dude, how are you supposed to yes and that? <laughs> <laughs> 25. Holy shit. Damn. I got a 21. Felipe looks at you guys and goes, well... What do I do? <laughs> I guess we fight her? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's just like, I don't know. We did invite her to our improv show. I thought that was one of our buddies. What happened? <laughs> it's it's time for the finale of our improv show, Chip. Let's beat the fuck out of her. We, we've been told that when if we fight someone, we will get kicked out, right? You also, I mean, yes, but you gather that people who are rushing out of the big top, screaming bloody murder, that that rule is not going to come into play as Belstrom just floated up and murdered people in the audience by shattering this glass. This is some real villainous shit. Chip, let's deal with one thing at a time here, okay? I, do we really have to do this right now? Everybody else is running. Why don't we get to run? Not without Gillian stuff. What the, okay, then let's just pick it up and run. What, uh, what do we see on the ground from Gillian? Uh, before we get into like actual initiative uh, order. I'll, I guess I'll read off my entire character sheet. His entire uh, inventory list is going to be on it's that It's literally everything. It's literally plus, everything. Plus, Plus the briefcase of many things and anything, or sorry, the briefcase <laughs> of holding and anything that's in it. It's all going to be right there. Oh, did everything pop out of the briefcase of holding? Mm, that okay. would still be in there, but, um... Okay. No, this yeah, briefcase you, works different than a bag of holding in which you can shut it and it won't open. Feel free to look on my character sheet at any moment. All that stuff that's in, okay. in, in inventory is, is on the ground. Everything's on the ground. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do that then. Okay, guys, tell me your initiative. Awesome. Mine's 25. 21. I'm going to drink water. Because it's important to hide. Yes, let's do it together, me and you. So happy to see Gillian's legacy living on without him. God, look at those boys, Chug. They're going up to 71%. Oh my lord. I think if we poured one out for Gillian, he would cry. <laughs> he would he would be summoned from the puddle. <laughs> he, would, he, he would be like, you waste such water. Okay, at the start of the round, Chip, um, before you're able to react, you look up and you see 
firing like a bolt of electric energy as uh, Belstrom strums their core on their on their new electric loot. Uh, this golden light shoots out, and then a rift splits open above uh, this kind of stage where you guys are are right now um, in the big top. And I need all of everyone in this big top to roll a Constitution saving throw. Oh, I'm good at those, not really. Uh, Where's Gillian when you need him? Where are you? Where are you within 30 feet of me? Uh, and don't add me? that plus four, man. 15. Chip gets a 16. A 16? 15. You guys take 7D. Oh, eight. oh, I thought it was going to stop at seven. I thought you <laughs> said seven and it made me happy. <laughs> you, you all take 33 points of necrotic Whoa. damage as this rift opens up and like these black tentacles from some other plane Un burst out and strike uh, around the entire vicinity and then suck back in and the rift closes immediately. Uncanny dodge. Go for it. Yeah, that's yeah. smart. That's a smart move. You're a smart guy. What is and that then, damage then? It's like 33, 33 divided, divided by, by two, two, round down, I think, for 16. damage. I think you round up. It's 16? 16 or okay, 17. 16? That's awesome. We didn't long rest, bro. I'm low on health. We didn't yeah. fucking- Oh, shit! Oh, man. That sucks, guys. Sorry. Um, yeah, so you guys, uh, you guys all take that damage, then we go to top of the round. Chip, what are okay. you doing? So what does this look like when the when the ten when the tentacles come down? It looks as if you know what a rift opening up looks like because you all fell through one into the Feywild. You watch Belstrom sure. open a rift with their magic. And then coming out of that Whoa. magic seems to be these necrotic tentacles from some other plane that go around and just strike uh, different people. More audience members die around you. Uh, I have to roll to see if like uh, the the mime is fine. They're out the of there. Aren't they? The mime and the mermaid are they? Yeah, they, they, they were like they took a horse out. out. Yeah, They're on puddle. Gillian's right? gone, but oh, thank yeah. God, the mime. I'll say, I'll say, <laughs> I'll see the mime and, and uh, the mermaid both riding on puddle were able to escape. Yes. However, um, I'm dude, to, you said else, he else said in the bring? recap he was like, oh man, the improv went out went, well, went out without a hitch, and I was like, actually, there was one. No, I think I think for the most part that's like everybody. There was the dog, but I don't think you know. I think the, the dog's dog, safe. The dog is flying. Uh, around and like dodging everything because I'll yeah. never hurt her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apple apple as well is just fucking juking Woo! everything because she's a small bird. She's crazy. Alright, Chip, what are you she's doing? She's cracked. So as these tentacles kind of whip out, uh does it, does it like slap me? No, they pierce. They pierce like they're they're not thick. They they're pierce? not thick. They're like small tendrils. They pierce through like both sides of your shoulders. Jay, they get into your forearm and one of your hands, and then as they pull out, that's where the pain happens. So they're almost like needles, uh, as, uh, like big needles. Sorry. Yeah, big yeah. needles. Sure. <laughs> as it kind of stab, like, stabs, like as it stabs into whip. me, Chip will kind of double over. Oh shit! Oh okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, Felipe, oh, Jay, just try and pick up as much stuff as you can. Yeah, yeah, the important stuff. I'm gonna oh, turn oh, on dude. the charm, and I'll You're keep her bleeding. distracted. Oh my god. Oh my I god. Um, I want to turn around. Whoa, lady, this dog. isn't how improv works. Haven't you ever heard of yes and? I would like to, um, <laughs> I would like to use panache and make Ooh. a persuasion check against her insight. Oh, all right, yeah, sure. Oh, fuck. That is a 13. She rolled a natural 19. Damn. Oh. She looks at you and she says, Yes, and now it's your time to die. Oh! You've been paniched! <laughs> oh, oh that shit. was good. No, that was pretty good. <laughs> is, that, uh, is that all you do in your turn? That's not an action, right? What else are you doing? I believe Try and it is an action. Yeah. Um, as a bonus action, I am going to move out of range, uh, possibly to the... <laughs> like. Other side. Was I in range to begin with, actually? Uh, like melee range to Belstrom? No. You guys are in the middle stage right now. You can move 60 feet to the, like, left, because they're kind of blocking the right. Yep. So, uh, all right, so you move back into the left side. So Jay, Jay is looking a little shaky right now. Um, she's kind of standing still as, as, as Chip says, hey, I'm going to distract her, grab as much as you can. Um, so, but she takes a little second. She kind of breathes in. And then she's gonna run for a Gillian shit instantly. I'll just say you can use you can use your action <laughs> oh, to pick up everything. It's okay. Everything. Maybe not yeah. everything, because I'm only gonna grab certain things. Then it'll uh, just be an action because you're picking it's yeah. not like an object interaction where you pick it up. You're picking up a lot of things and like storing yeah. them, so I'll just say like this yeah. is an action. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the conch shell. Mm. I'm gonna grab Destiny's Blade. Got okay. it. Helping hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The necklace of Tide Strider. Uh-huh. 
his holy symbol. Why would you not just grab everything? It's gonna be down so much shit. Okay, because it not, doesn't make sense to grab everything. Going I guess. off the dome with everything he has. Holy shit! What about my what about no, my chalk? No. Can you get my chalk? I have two no, pieces I'm not of grabbing chalk. your chalk. I'm grabbing so, your dragon scale because I think that's from Dugon. Am no, I? No, I just bought that somewhere. Okay. Did you say then Dugon I, maybe, like that? Maybe I. <laughs> Dugon. <laughs> Um, Gillian would. Oh, oh now Gillian is also. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, the please don't forget the one thousand ball bearings. Um, uh, um yeah, I guess. The crawfish scrolls. The, the, We're never gonna know where okay, it is. Okay, it's you know, I'll just grab it all. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shove it all in the fucking briefcase holding. Fuck it. I was just gonna keep right. saying stupid shit to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just throw everything into the briefcase holding. Oh yeah, actually, holding. you're right. Oh, it could all totally just go in there. <clears throat> Yeah, that's the that's what I'm doing now. I'm just scooping all in. That makes sense. Yeah, do that. Yeah. That'll work. Any bonus action or movement? Yeah, so she just picks up the briefcase of holding after stuffing it and she kind of like holds it between both her arms and she looks towards Chip and uh, she's going to yell, Chip, let's get out of here. Uh, way ahead of you. And I, I run towards the exit at this point. Visibly fucked up and also seeing Chip is fucked up. Yeah, this is not a fight. Uh, Chip, Chip walked uh, 60 feet away from the exit because it's in the middle. But you can easily leave the tent if you that's what you want to do jay it's it's close enough to i want, get to, out of I the want tent. to get to the exit of the tent and wait for chip in that case um Belstrom's gonna use a legendary action oh, Bro, you it. have what now <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> she's gonna look at chip and then say you want to know how to do panache oh uh -oh. Wait, do you see my <laughs> I'll show you how to be cunning. And she Everything. looks at Jay. Her eyes roll back into her head, and she points a finger at you and then strums a chord. And when you hear this sound, um, you need to roll. No oh, god. I believe it's a charisma saving throw. Oh <laughs> boy. 13. 13. So with 13, you fail. And yeah, you're now possessed by the spirit of music. <laughs> what? The God. soul of Great. rock. This, this isn't the under, first time this has happened to me you specifically. Are under control. <laughs> Holy shit, it's Bon Jovi. <laughs> you, <laughs> it's Belgium Jovi, bro. Uh, yeah, no, Bel Jovi. Uh, you are fucking under, under her spell. And uh -oh. she's going to command you to, on your next turn, draw your bow and shoot Chip. And then it's Felipe's turn. And they both, Chip and Felipe, both see this happen to you as you start drawing your bow. And you have, like, your eyes are now clouded in, like, black ink. And Felipe, like, huddles over to... <laughs> Wait, did you move 60 feet? Yes. Well, as Wait, far how? as I could. That's all I was saying. Okay. okay well, okay. he can bonus action dash. Yeah. He can? Yeah. yeah. If you did that, then Felipe can't reach you. Just let me check something. Ah, oh, fuck. He moves over, and he says, Hey, uh, Chip, come here, buddy. He moves 30 feet. <laughs> he says, what? Come here. Come Flip, there, I just come, get out of here. Come dap me up. No, bro, I need to help you, man. This come is here. not the time to be dapping up, man. <laughs> no, like, just chill out, okay? We'll be fine as long as we're together. I, and, I'm, um, like, he sees me bleeding out from this puncture wound. I know, I'm trying wound. to help you, my dog. Come here, man. And then you can pick me up and we can run the fuck out of here, all right? Sure, man. Word. All right, that's my turn. <laughs> 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 and, uh, there is this poof of multicolored smoke that is sort of standing in between Belstrom and Jay and Felipe and Chip. And as it dissipates, you'd see Cass, the owner of the carnival, the ring leader of the the, the extravaganza, who was like leader or, or announcing the performances and stuff. And he turns over and puts on his hat as he appears in this really sort of like uh, nonchalant way. And he looks up at Belstrom and says, Bell. It's not like you to bring the mood down of the carnival. And then he just snaps his fingers and this sort of cane that he's been twirling around uh, glows this bright multicolored light and he's going to try and hold a person, Belstrom. So she rolled, she failed. So Belstrom seizes up in that moment, still has control over Jay, but then seizes up and that'll skip Belstrom's turn. Oh. Uh, oh, good. And then good. with Casper's turn, oh, sorry, uh, Casper's turn, he uh, puts his hands up and he looks around and he says, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the carnival is now closed due to emergencies. Please see your way out the exit and through uh, the forest and uh, <laughs> I'll make sure you find your way back. And throughout this whole chaos, as people are leaving the audience member, one in particular 
springs oh, into no. action. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> and you see, as, as tearing off a brown cloak, standing in front of you, a humanoid, 5'11 feet tall, with brown hair and, and glasses without a frame <laughs> on the bottom. What's up, my Goopy? What's up, my Goopy? I'm for Chip, and I shoot him. I shoot him. I shoot him. I think he's. I think he's Chip, and I shoot him. It's me, Charlie Slimesicle. Not if I have anything to say about it. Charlie Slimesicle joins the party. Uh, and then, unfortunately, Jay uh, uh, shoots an arrow uh, that instantly it's kills me. Uh, as I fall over dead. <laughs> Good. You see another silhouette behind my now bleeding out corpse of Charlie Slimesicle <laughs> as the gloopy gamer life leaves his eyes. You see a purplish silhouette towering over uh, my dead body at two feet, <laughs> two feet tall, 10 pounds of power. Uh, and, and you see as this, this creature looks up and you see that this is no purple cloak. This is some sort of strange living ooze. And in it, you see this kind of radioactive uh, 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 colored ooze creature with these bright neon green eyes and mouth. Uh, and with these little sort of eyes around its cloak uh, uh, manifesting in these uh, tiny stubby little purple legs coming out from under them. Let me send you guys a picture. There's a picture? <laughs> of Gublek. <laughs> and Gublek stands there and looks up at Pelstrom and says confidently, Gublek! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's he all he's he going to say, right? He's a Pokemon and he only says his name. Yeah? <laughs> That's what he says. No, no. He has one other catchphrase. He has one other catchphrase. Does it look like Chip and Jay are just running out of here? J J Jay can't. Yeah. Jay's under control. Oh, she's under control. Now blocking the exit. People are trying to rush past her. Some make it. Some get fucking struck by her like elbow or something. Uh, when Chip uh, is yeah, like I'm 60 feet on the opposite direction of where <laughs> okay. you're standing right now. Gublek looks at Chip and says, it's okay. We friend! Hee-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> starts, starts sprinting, sprinting like towards anime Bellstrom. Like sprinting like full duck? <laughs> no, not full duck, not full duck, body fully upright, legs moving at like Mach oh 10, God. just across the ground. I don't know why I imagine he just like bolted like a fucking rocket. <laughs> Kublik also has, I want to say, no arms. There's no arms in the cloak. He's literally just That's like a little imagine, triangle like, with the these little legs. Forward. He runs forward. Uh, jumps about 20 feet up into the air. Does that reach to Belstrom? <laughs> yeah. What? Okay, cool. Uh, and it's gonna go for a few slaps uh, on this uh, on this musical uh, uh, mayhem lady. They are paralyzed at the moment. I believe cool. you'll get something advantage, for that. Advantage and automatic crits if they hit. That's what I get. Gublek soars through the air. Hee-hoo! Uh, <laughs> and it's going to make his attacks. First is a 29 to hit. That hits. With a wow. goo strike. Second is a 25 to hit with another goo slap. Uh, he's going to spend a key point um, and you see as he glows this this radioactive purple. That's a goo point. <laughs> uh, goo, he spends one goo point, and you see as the tendrils from beneath him uh, all sort of rise up, more of them lashing out, and he's going to go for a flurry of blows. Oh, my God. That is going to be a 29 to hit. <laughs> what? That hits? And a, and a 16 to hit. So 16 does not hit. Okay, so they all hit except one. All right, I'm gonna roll the damage. What Jesus. the fuck? Dude, she's paralyzed, <laughs> that's a, perfect. A, a time. Gunk. Okay. Okay, Jesus. 20 plus 19, 39. What? <laughs> plus, uh, uh, plus another 13, hang on. So that's three hits, and then it's also gonna do another 2d6 of you see as the tendrils kind of bubble up with this like almost acidic uh, uh, power. She takes 61 damage. <laughs> Whoa, total? As, as this little nice. goo goblin leaps through the air, slaps her a shit ton with his like weird little goo legs, lands on the ground and just keeps running back toward you guys. You know, okay. uh, can I say, uh, really? that a boy, Goob like Chip, absolutely. As you say that, and your little legs move along, mouth agape. He, he, you just see his gaze follow it along. No words, no thoughts. 
He is just taking in the information. As a, as a, oh no, I already used my bonus action, but he is going to start running over uh, uh, towards Chip with his 50 feet of movement. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does. He's running directly at you. Yeah, <laughs> just like, just straight up. And he's got this, by the way, his expression, he's eyes wide, unblinking, and just this big, like, happy face <laughs> on his face. Same thing you see on the, on the image. Okay, so... Uh, and if you guys, I'm sure the art for Gooblack will go up publicly, right? Or is it just going to be Patreon? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, okay. I want it to. What, uh, what is uh, Gooblack's initiative? Gooblack's initiative is uh, 11. 11. Okay, so you'll you'll just keep going last. And does that by any chance break her concentration on, on Jay's thing? Because she needs to make a lot of concentration checks. That one is not concentration. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. man. All right, all right, all right. That was, I'm pretty sure that, that was a legendary so action that costed three actions. Okay, so gotcha. So it is not concentration. All right, sick. Hey, well, I'm going to shoot shit. So what you're going to do is <laughs> no! you're going to use, on your turn, I'll let you know, but right, but first it's Chip's turn. And Felipe is like beckoning towards you okay. as this goob, this goob like just fucking door I darts past him. I would be passing him. the goob. Uh, I don't know who to, this guy is, but. To get to Felipe. As I'm, I'm looking over Felipe, I He's look at the little the thing ready. running. It's running at me. Go I'm on, totally buddy. not gonna run past this guy. You to just Felipe. gotta trust me. This little good guy. <laughs> no, it's okay. Fuck that. You trust oh, me now. You no, trust please, me, man. Felipe. You're on your own, man. It's okay. You come here. Come here to win. <laughs> win a prize. <laughs> I want to turn around and t and I want to rip open the tent. I want to get out. I want to leave. I want to be rid of this creature. This small oh purple book running you know at escape. me. I Too fast. open. I cut <laughs> open the tent and I idiot. run full velocity. What what will Whatever. it take to cut okay. open the tent? It's just it's a okay. tent, right? I catch you. Yeah, you think that, but it's a magic tent. So go Fuck ahead and, you. and cast. Not cast. Go ahead and, and, and uh, roll a hit. Just roll a hit. I rolled a hit the tent. That's a 19 to hit the tent. <laughs> okay, yeah, now roll your damage. Are your weapons magical? I don't even know if he has a sword knife anymore. we found one unfortunate. time. Unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I have a sword. You should mm -hmm. get it stuck in someone's dad at some point. You get Dude, a magic we totally weapon. We totally like out. ripped it open from the top, though, didn't we? Gillian, Gillian did. He, so he a, did he have a magic a weapon. Magic weapon, yeah. You guys, it's you fine. guys, it makes total and sense. your rules and things sense. and things that you say and do. <laughs> no, it's always been this way, man. You're crazy. Yeah, if he, Gillian were here, he'd tell you that you can't cut this open very easily. <laughs> But he's not, but sorry. He not? It's yeah, me. I rolled a six. Six damage on the thin fabric again next to me. You got it. You got it like half. Not even half. It's like a third. Uh, there's like a third of a hole there. A third of a hole? <laughs> yeah, it's like you can fit your face in, but you can't really fit the body yet. You know what I mean? I'm going to spend my entire... I'm going to hit it again. I'm going to spend my entire turn clawing at the wall to get away. <laughs> that is a 20 to hit the tent. I'm going to roll damage. That is eight damage. I have now done 14 damage to the fabric. Oh, okay. You're you're about halfway out then, I'll okay. say. Like you're okay. half your body is out, the other half like your ass is okay. sticking I out. Just, I Everyone love can the... just see Chip ass in the inside as Excellent. he's like trying to crawl out. Charlie, as your character's running at me, you just see Goob him like, like stabbing at the, at the wall like god, please let me out. Oh my god. He looks back at you and the, his eyes are full of fear. All you see cuz he does have you see the trauma and fear and horror oh in his eyes. Are you crying? Are you crying? He looks back no, he's not crying. It's pure like adrenaline and fear and fight or flight. He has chosen flight. He is trying to get out. <laughs> it's okay. Go like help get out. <laughs> Let me out. Okay, I come. <laughs> oh no, go away. Uh, in that case, next up uh, is going to be Jay. Who okay. You will now spend your turn shooting uh, at Chip. 26 to hit. That one hits. Don't you have yeah. two attacks? Oh, do I have two attacks. You're right. Use them both. Uh, 24 to hit. <laughs> Both hit. 17 damage total. Uncanny oh dodge. No! The woman is violent! Hey, yeah, damage. so as they like pierce into me, I'm I'm very like like I'm losing Both steam as I'm cutting through. Both your have an arrow sticking out of them. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, let me, let me, <laughs> let me Aim for the ass. <laughs> He's like, like crying and like She's very like much one like, turn away from bullseyeing your ass, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit, no. No, I'm gonna rob him with one of the, the arrows. Shot, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna rob him with the arrow. Next one's between the cheeks. <laughs> Can I reroll my charisma? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about to say, if it's the end of your turn, go ahead and roll your charisma save. Oh, wow, that's even worse. 11. Still under the control, unfortunately. Hey, can I just say, guys, I'm super excited to see your new characters, too. <laughs> I'm excited as well. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, after Jay's turn, because 
Bells from Astil. Her eye as she shoots both of his ass cheeks. Um, she can't take like a legendary action or anything like that, um, which is good. Good for you guys. Yeah, Felipe great. will now use his movement because he can finally catch up to Chip, and he will <laughs> he will cast. He's gonna cast. Uh, Felipe cure wounds. cast third level. So he says, "All right, I'm just gonna uh, slap your ass, buddy." There you go. Give 15 points of health back, buddy. How do you feel? <laughs> Rips them out of your ass. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I actually feel a little bit oh, better. Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks, man. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. We but, gotta uh, get out of here, though. And I next point time, over. why don't you just, like, trust me, okay? The friendship is built on trust, your communication, and, um, Pointing. you know, like, if you want to stay besties, we have to, like, talk and stuff, man. That's so, like, what's on your thing. mind? Oh, this guy? Uh, he looks back. <laughs> <laughs> you both look at me. <laughs> okay, we besties. We talk. Hey, little man. Uh, what do you like to eat? He starts running towards you. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> let's go, man. Let's go. I guess I know. That's, that's his action. He doesn't have anything else. That's in the fleet base turn. So Belgium's going to try and break that whole person again. 20, okay, so 21 definitely uh, oh, saves. Oh, psych. Oh, shit. And uh, she breaks through it, but I'll say that that is uh, her turn. You watch as uh, Casper sort of, or Casper sort of like disappears where he's standing, appears next to Chip, like tears open with his finger. The rest of the hole lets him like, like falls into it. And then poofs out of there again and then poofs next to uh jay and puts his thumb on your forehead and he's going to try and dispel that put thumb in your mouth. <laughs> gives you he gives you a wet willy <laughs> <laughs> so that that definitely is uh way over 20 that's going to dispel the magic taking control of you god what was very lucky is, was the dc 20 uh no her dc is 17. Okay, I was so scared Bruh. when you said so, over 20. <laughs> no, I was saying just because it's over 20, like the check, he's yeah, definitely yeah, going to help sense. you out. I would um, like never get past that. <laughs> and he smiles at you and he says, I'd still um, like to have a conversation once all this is over. Yeah, uh, do, you, do you need our help or just without the belief? <laughs> um, concerning that I believe this is um, partly your responsibility. And he looks back at Belgium and says, we are sorry you were having such an unpleasant time here at Cassius Carnival, but uh, if you have any grievances, I suggest that you take it up with um, the owner. looks at him. You are the owner. Oh, and uh, uh, Gooblek, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> um, Gooblek, uh, Gooblek is going to uh, run over to Chip and Jay and say, uh, "No, I'm on the opposite Chip side of the tent." Oh, okay. He's just going to yeah. run over to Chip then. Yeah. Chip and Felipe. What's up? Fall out onto the other side of the hole. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. We got to. Ah! It's okay. I hear. <laughs> ah. Please don't kill me, man. No. Boop. I touch him. Viscosity check. <laughs> viscosity check? <laughs> I'm going to all roll a viscosity check right now. How about this? One watery, 20 thick. Okay. 12. Like a weirdly he, in between. He's like goo, like which a, is like in a between. pudding, right? Like not, yeah, not he's like quite a jello pudding, and floppy, pudding, but like sort of weird tech. Yeah, you can like yeah. put your you can put your finger in him. Yeah, 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 it's jello. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I just take little blood. Wait, what? Don't don't take my blood. Don't you touch me. Too late. Cut it. DNA. <laughs> Are you're not with her? No. Oh. Oh. Okay. You're just a little guy. God damn, you're really short, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, Why are you like, so small? Same height. I have like two feet on him, man. What the <laughs> hell? I'm like four two or something. This guy is literally the size of my dick. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> hey, Gooblek, do you like uh? He doesn't do say like a word. <laughs> 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 he just well. Oh, sorry, Felipe's talking to him. <laughs> is that your name? Did you call your name? Is that Gooblek? I heard you scream it. Is your name Goob? All right, Goob. Okay, we go now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, I still have to get my friend. So where are we going? Uh, away from here. How far away is Jay from me right now? Uh, over at like 60 feet, yeah. I'm gonna move uh, 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 30 feet towards her, and I'm going to spend five key points. Goo points, yeah. Goo, I'm gonna spend five goo points, and you see as out of Goo Black's little cloak he's wearing, this little tentacle just like fully extends 30 feet and wraps around Jay. And I want to basically try and uh, try and grapple her and start like pulling her over towards us. Uh, okay. Yeah, this isn't going to be without resistance because what the fuck yeah. is happening? <laughs> It's no, okay. that's totally you fair. What is the strength check? <laughs> that's some weird okay. shit over there. Uh, you know what? I will really yell out, Jay, let it happen. He's normal, I, I think. <laughs> that is not normal, dog. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. 
Um, yeah, I'm make just an doing athletics, my best. athletics or acrobatics contestant. There's nothing normal about that. <laughs> okay, I didn't she she didn't have to do that if she's willing. Oh, is she willing? I think she said she's willing. Let me just. Is it's okay. Willing? He's just a little guy. It's okay. I'm just a little guy. <laughs> he's so goopy. You love I know, me. It's like a you pudding. love me now. <laughs> I think he's taking my blood. It doesn't yeah. smell good, does it? No, no. Gubrick smells like fucking cotton candy, bro. He smells amazing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, he does. Yeah, I know. He smells sweet. He does. He does. He smells like candy. If he did, I would try to eat him. <laughs> okay, you could do that on your turn. You're fucking hey, weird, no, bro. No, Jay's, Jay's like two in whatever's happening right now to, to just, just let this happen. 21. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, no, that's that succeeds. So he just kind of, yeah. you just feel it on you and you like kind of rub it <laughs> off. Like, no. Just, just go out and run. I'll, we'll catch you on the other side. I'm at the exit already. <laughs> we made an exit. <laughs> you two go right now. You guys are trying to run away and you're going to presumably allow the cast to deal with this. That's yes. my, that's my assumption. That's what it seems like. That's yeah. the plan. Okay. All right. And I'm just does. doing what my two best friends say. Hey there, little buddy. I tap him on the shoulder. What's that over there? I point Ooh. over at the people. I would like to. Can you, can you double dash in this game? I believe you can. Yeah, you can. You you're can. a rogue. You're a rogue. I'd <laughs> like to do it. Uh, go, well, Felipe can't run as fast as you can, so he would. Yeah, he would need assistance. You'd have to carry him. I could, He'll follow could I? you, but he's not going to be able to keep up. But could I carry him with a successful athletics check? Oh sure, I'll try. But if I do fail, I want to say I would rather drop him than slow down. 14. 14 succeeds. I'm dying. Sorry. 14 succeeds. Felipe is pretty light. Wait, I just go, hey, what's that? I pick Felipe up on my shoulders and I run. <laughs> oh, I played. He just puts his hands out. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a, a kid again, man. It's like I'm four days old. I'm only five Wanna days old. Try and run around the outside of the tent. You guys are by the entrance no. and uh, standing in between you and, and Bellstrom now. It's just Cass. The Kublai is all alone <laughs> oh, at the Did other you exit. Leave? You failed the challenge. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Jay, we got, we got, we got, we got, Holy fuck, you, uh, you, you uh, went around there. I can't. Oh, what? 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 I Cass, you, said do you need our help or no? We're fucked up right now. <laughs> oh, my ears are ringing. Oh, I mean, what you would see, like, in front of you is not him um, addressing you or even paying attention to you. Mm. What, when he turned around and say uh, take it up with the owner and they had that kind of like back and forth They immediately started doing this like back and forth of spell casting and counter spell casting Oh, so you see spells going out and then they countering like they fizzling. Yeah, like, cool. Back and okay, forth. They got this <sighs> and um, He looks very relaxed and nonchalant. And she looks angry and she's trying to attack people around He's trying to stop it and keep it under control. So you have this opportunity to get out of here. Yeah, you know what's wrong with a few pop shots though, you know, like with just the <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> <laughs> Do what you want. No, no, I'm gonna take a shot. That's funny. Oh, wait, if she legendary actions me again, though. Nah, Jay she, wants I mean, to shoot. She would, have, she would have just legendary action before your turn, but it failed. Oh, I true, yeah, for it. True. Gublek doesn't true. really have an ass, so I try he to should shoot be okay. Her. 17 to hit. That just hits, yeah. Okay, what about, uh, 24? Yep. Okay, I popped two shots at her. 38 damage total. Holy shit. All right. Um, she is now below half health. That's in your turn, Felipe. Yeah, so uh, I guess I'll start walking like away from the carnival. No, tent. come back! Drink me for fifty shield point. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like I already said running because walking is a little. A little uh, <laughs> yeah, I nonchalantly walk. Yeah, I run. Yeah, yeah, I'll just follow along with them. <laughs> I'll just say, um, just to make it easier, we'll end combat here as you all are gonna successfully get out of the okay. tent, anyways. Um, okay. And you start running far away from the big top as you can. You are flee the battle. <laughs> where where are you going to head and then stop? Like, where is your stopping Just point like, at? I'd probably in a um, safer place, wherever it looks God, safe. I'm, like I'm woods, trying to think maybe. of like I want to go next to like the little little uh, the carousel is where I want to get at least like or maybe near the entrance before like I I hold up and stop running. I'd, I'd probably stop running at, at any point that feels safe enough for me to collapse on the ground. Out of breath. Uh, that's up to you when you feel safe, because Gublek is going to remain beside you the entire time. I probably <laughs> wouldn't even notice, like, right away. Okay, He's cool. just, like, skipping, like, very happily <laughs> behind you guys. <laughs> um, I don't have the map in front of me. His little legs are moving so fucking fast under his body. You guys are running specifically. You would see Durla, the Displacer Beast, sort of, like, uh, um, intersect your path as you're running towards the entrance, and they say, Sorry, I have my little pitch thing here. I can finally do it. You and here. 
and what? they gesture over towards this little booth where all the lost th items are kept. I'm, I run over into it. Yeah, I'll yeah, like, just, can... like hobbling in as I as I go in. <laughs> are I'll you just still, fall are you to still the ground. carrying Felipe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and as right, I so fall, guys... like Felipe, like. Whatever happens to him happens. Felipe lands in me. Felipe, uh, <laughs> Felipe falls off and then lands inside, somewhat inside the goob. Like I mean, he absorption, is larger than you absorption are. Absorption beginning. He's like halfway in. <laughs> um, but when you guys enter no, this, Felipe, this, get out of, get out of this chamber. Assimilation stage one. <laughs> Despite the um, exterior seeming like a small box of a building, you get inside and it is much larger than you could have mm. ever imagined. It's like this treasury of different trinkets and items and bubbles and, and bits that have just been lost over the many, many years of however long this carnival has been running. And you just hear like muffled explosions happen in the background and just this chaotic fight that seems to be going on outside of this room. But Durla looks at you all and says, For now, you will be safe from here. Oh, okay, thank you so much. Oh my god, I can't feel my legs. Again! Jay, Jay. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> How did you get in here? Oh, oh he's oh. kind of cute, actually. Oh. Oh. You'd also see a few other figures sort of resting in this room. Oh. Um, presumably, all of them are employees of... Uh, the fair? Oh my god, I run so much in my life, I'm gonna throw up. Uh, Chip. What? Chip, I grab, what? I grab him. Uh, where, did what? You, where did you get those cards from? Ooh. What? What are you talking about? The cards, the cards from the improv show, where did you get them from? I, I, I like, brush Jay off. I got them from a, it was like a, a booth. It was over by the, the Hall of Mirrors, why? The cards from Magical. Oh, is that what made Gil invisible? Jay just kind of stares at, at Chip for a second. Uh, not saying a word. What? Gil isn't invisible. Okay, so where is he? I don't know. He's just gone. Calm down, all right? We'll just, we'll go find him. Where? Uh, I don't know. He's like, he's gotta be around here, right? Maybe. All of his stuff was on the ground, Chip. All of it. So you think he's not, like, like here? Don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it was. He's just gone. He, you saw it just as good as I did. He disappeared. He was there one second, and then he wasn't. Do I still have the deck? You absolutely do. You pull it out. I got these cards from, uh... It was the, the ten over there with the horns. Once you say that, a bugbear that's nearby, who has sort of this, um... Like, wearing overalls and has, like, a pumpkin head on his head. He, uh, looks over and then says, We have no such thing. I know, I, I went there. It was just past the Hall of Mirrors. This is also the bugbear who watched over the, uh... I believe it's the same bugbear who watched over the cupcake eating contest. Mm. I watch over all of the, uh, the carnival. There's no tent with horns. Maybe it's new? I don't know. Things seem kind of crazy around here. Maybe it just kind of, kind of popped in. I don't- Chip, we need to find out who, who gave you those cards. When, when everything calms down, we'll go over there and we'll figure it out. Look, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal? I don't see Gillian anywhere near us right now, do you? He's gone. He disappeared! Okay, what do you want me to say? I, I'm sorry, you I- You can't just be so blasé about everything. Oh, my legs! Oh, he's taking <laughs> my legs! Oh! Shh! Oh, oh, you I literally have my legs back, man! Come on! Go? Oh, man, our my fucking juices now. are- Our juices are combining! Do you like? Uh, it feels kind of good, actually. Go black Look, now! we'll figure out what to do with no. Gil. I definitely don't know what to do about that. Yeah, no, I'm not dealing- I'm not touching that. I'm not- I'm not going to. Hey, little guy, Go, have you seen Kublik, our, our Kublik friend? reaches a little tendril over to, over to Jay, uh, well, well, literally absorbing Felipe, <laughs> just looks at her, It's okay, assimilation stage three complete, Kublik okay, now three guy. and one half feet tall. <laughs> Wait, okay, does Felipe have to roll to get out of you? Yeah, let's just treat it like a grapple, he can try to roll and get out of me. I'm not trying to hurt him, I'm not actually trying to hurt him or anything. Alright, he's gonna try to remove his legs though. Okay. He rolls an eight. I rolled also oh, rolled an eight. Rolled eight. <laughs> I rolled an eight. I rolled so bad. All right, we roll again. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Fifteen. Thirteen. Like one of my fucking toes there was like I rolled three, you know. So small again. Chip is is the guy who gave you those cards in here. I'll look around the room to see it. You know what? With your passive perception, despite this room being you know significantly larger, you see the you see a few different you know employees that you've met, and like the mime and the mermaid are in here. You see. Uh, the centaur, but you don't see a man wearing this 
you know, circusy fancy guff suit with half ma like a half mask, um, like the emotion half mask and uh, gloves and stuff. You don't see them. No, you don't. Uh, he... but Maybe... that's what you were looking for, and it's just not here. No, he had like a, like a mask. Uh, uh, I don't mean to be a doubter. Did you give one of those cards to that crazy rock star that is currently fighting someone right now? I'm pretty sure I saw that. Wait, Felipe, didn't you draw a card? Wait, yeah. did I? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, no, I think Gillian no, drew no. one. Gillian no, drew one. Gillian he, got drew, he drew yeah. two, no. right. I didn't draw one, no. No, no. Gil drew two. So like, why, are you, why are you so fucking sad about Gillian? The guys, scum of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, Felipe? Why God? would you say that? He's, because he's it's true. Friend. My bad is he's self-absorbed, he only cares about destiny. <laughs> okay, he calm thinks he's down. hot shit because right, he's the chosen one, look, but he's not. He's not an asshole, he is our friend! <laughs> and we're gonna find him, Jake. you don't- Stop he worrying so much! He told me a so long time about how he, he tried to kill you, so... I don't know what? why you even care. He, uh, he told me all his, his like, story, like, we talked, man. Inside check. Okay, why? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna know if what he's saying to me is true. I mean, remember the ice arena? <laughs> Twelve. Yeah, I'm, that's um, why I'm curious. I mean, with the, with the 12, I'd be like, yeah, Gilly and I chatted for a little bit about stuff. He told me about your stories and stuff. But that was before I knew he was a raging fucking dickwad. <laughs> <laughs> Felipe, go to like a corner somewhere. I don't want to... Okay, man, look, I'll drop it, but like, seriously, guys, get over it. Uh, maybe our, our new friend here knows something about... This guy is fucking rad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'd rather have him anyway. Okay, I feel him now. No, this no, is Boon no, Gilly. no. Yes. No, what's what's your name? Little God, guy. God picked me. God Go picked Black. you. Go Black. It's the other chosen one. Look at him. Have you ever seen anything like him? He's so special. <laughs> okay, come <laughs> back in. Come back in. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where our friend could be, maybe? Or did you see the tent with the horns and the guy with the mask? Yes. You did. You did? Oh. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm completely lying. I'm gonna listen, roll deception. Yeah, well, you're not. I mean, you don't have to oh, be lying. You can just oh, ask me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I definitely don't know where Gillian is. So um, Gublek is okay. not lying about having seen the same thing you're talking about. Okay, cool. Because Gublek has seen all. But he's definitely lying about where Gillian is because <laughs> I rolled a three. He has minus two charisma. <laughs> Once Cass is done dealing with that lady in there, we need to talk to him. Okay. Okay, yeah. You still hear the fucking... I get that you're worried, but just... I'll, I'll, I'll move words. up and, like, rest my, like, hand on her shoulder. Don't worry, all right? He, he's, he's gonna be around here and we'll find him. It's not the first time something like this has happened. God, I fucking hope we don't. And then... <laughs> when you say that, when you when you look over at, like, with the scowl to Felipe saying that, he is, like, tearing up when he says it, but he looks angry. But at the same time, you realize that something there's something behind his eyes that it just isn't... Like, he's saying all this, but... <laughs> he's... Oh, no. That's so sad. That's fucked up, dude. That's, that's fucked up. Take a rest, get some food, and we'll... Go talk to the guy. You know, I, I'll, I'll show you where the tent is. We can just talk to him, and maybe he'll tell us where he went. Probably, like, went to carnival jail. Is that a thing? Do you guys have carnival jail? Only for carnival crime! <laughs> Darla says... Now, those oh. who break the rules get expelled and may never return. That's probably what happened. For all our sakes, I hope you're right, Chef. What if we just draw a little card? And then, like, whatever <laughs> we get, maybe we can beat no. the... No, we're not gonna touch the cards. We're gonna wait. <laughs> Pussy. Yeah, fuck you, <laughs> Felipe. All right, man. Why are you getting so Look, bold today? Because I Relax. dapped you up, even though you ran away from me. I was Dude, trying to help I you. I was running for my life, all right? We're still bros. Don't worry about it. This cute little guy who puts his arm around Gublek and it gets absorbed a little. <laughs> yes! I mean, um... Well, he looked a little more dangerous running at me at uh, full speed. I'm gonna, you see, as a, as a little tentacle slowly comes out, and I'm gonna try and initiate a dap with Chip. Shield the pact! You wanna dap up? Sure. Here we go! Here you go. Okay! I hold out my hand, and I go for it, and I go to, like, smack in on his hand and go in. I'm also gonna go in. What should I roll, DM? A grapple check. So, <laughs> contesting strength? His, his, uh, his strength versus your acrobatics. Yeah, yeah, so roll acrobatics or athletics. Ooh, nice. 21. You guys oh, I both also got a, I also got 21. <laughs> what is this keep happening? It's, it's the perfect gap! It's the Rogan. perfect gap! Make sure gap. you don't get grappled. Say that. Say that. Yeah, it's it's fucking it's fucking awesome. Okay. You just feel a slight pierce, like a little blood has been drawn. I go, we go in, here's how it looks. It's one like it's a slap across on the palm, a slap back on the back of the hand. 
We go up, our thumbs interlock. I, do you have thumbs? I do now. You create one, one manifests, and we go up, we create a bird, we come back, we dab we up. Jellyfish, jellyfish. Jellyfish, jellyfish. Llama, we, happy llama, sad llama. We come in happy llama, but our Super fingers llama, go down drama together. llama, big fat mama llama moose. Okay, <laughs> and as the, as the moose comes in, we yep. go, and then the the meese kiss each other. The oh, that's Disney beautiful. And then, shit is this, and then bro. we come <laughs> down, we create an egg, and we crack it. And sparkles come out. And sparkles come out. I'm gonna say, go. Goob, like, this is the first time that you've ever made contact with a human that you didn't immediately absorb on accident. Whoa. That's Whoa. huge. That was really good. How did you know that? Goob, like, Awesome. Dap all the time. Awesome. Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey. What's your favorite thing to shop for online? And is it easy to find deals on? I mean, how often do you feel like you have a promo code ready at checkout? I'll wager that you never have a promo code ready at checkout, you silly little guy. I bet you never even looked for one. But that's okay, because thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. It supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from tech and gaming products popular fashion brands, and even food delivery. It's very simple. How it works is, imagine you're shopping online at one of your favorite sites, and when you go to check out, the Honey button drops down, and all you have to do is click, boop, apply coupons. You wait a few seconds as Honey scours the internet for coupons it can find just for that site. And if Honey finds a working coupon, you save money. I've personally been obsessed with buying graphic novels lately. I don't know what it is. I just like when the words and the pictures are there, and I look at the funny pictures and they have the words on them. But graphic novels are very expensive. Uh, for good reason, right? But but Honey saves me just a little bit more money on those, and and it's definitely worth it. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't cost you anything, and you're saving money. I've saved probably like 20, 30 bucks. I, I mean, I haven't bought so many graphic novels, but it's it's something that's 20, 30 bucks. And I really didn't have to do much. I just had to click the button. And what's great about it is you can add Honey to your iPhone. Just enable it on Safari, and you can find savings on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's Act, it's free and it installs in a few seconds. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'd be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I'd never recommend something I don't use, so go get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash JRWI. One more time, that's joinhoney.com slash JRWI. Just go download Honey, it doesn't cost you anything and it definitely does help the show. Anyway. Enjoy the rest of this episode of Just Roll With It, Riptide. Bro, I'm pretty sure he took your blood and now has your memories or something. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> you see, is there's, there's like a little trickle of red slowly moving up his arm towards the core of his body. Yeah, Felipe, come on, he's cool. All right, so, let's, uh, let's just rest for a little bit. Just relax. Let, every, let Cass take care of it, and then we'll go... Figure out the cards. Everything will be fine. Unless you guys want to say otherwise or say anything else. I'll say you can short rest and during yeah, this that's period what I, I will tell you what I mean this is gonna be the fight. It, it takes a while. Using I'm, all of my yeah, all I'm of gonna, my hit dice. I'm gonna do as much as I fucking can. I think I'm back to eighty. I'm back to I'm seventy. Gonna use I was at four short. health, by the way. I need you to know that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I saw. Uh before I short saw. resting, Gublak is going to use quickened quickened healing and you see as he just has this sort of shard uh, of glass sticking out of him where a little ooze is leaking out and he just kind of sucks it sucks it in okay i rolled contested d20s for Cass and belstrom for three yeah. rounds i re-rolled them the first round Cass rolled a natural one. Oh shit uh -oh. the second round belstrom rolled a natural one <laughs> <laughs> oh! And so oh, I was so sitting here as you it. guys were talking and I was like sweating and I was like, oh, oh god, my fuck. fucking god. The third round, Belstrom rolls a 17. And I'm oh. like, oh god. And then Cass rolled a natural 20. Let's oh my go! god. <laughs> so after a moment of short rest, what seems like forever, and you keep hearing these spells being fired off, dull outside of this interior, and then it all goes quiet. And the suspense is suffocating as you guys are waiting inside to see who comes and retrieve you. And then the door just slowly creeps open and you see him duck under with the tall top hat and into the interior. And he looks beat up like just super oh. um, 
clothes are tattered, spell marks, scuff marks everywhere. Um, but his cane is still intact. Well, I am <clears throat> sorry about that, kiddos. But uh, it has been taken care of temporarily. They uh, Temporarily? Well, <laughs> surprising to me, Belstrom, who has visited our carnival quite a few times, was quite the match for even myself. And I um, won via banishment. Oh, well, that's good, I think. I don't really know how banishment works. Wherever Belstrom is from, because they're not from the Feywild, they've been returned. Severely beaten, with an inch of uh, her life. But I am no killer. Well, sweet. Awesome. So we don't have uh, we don't have that problem to deal with. Um, hey, just just a quick question, and I, and I want to get up and, and kind of walk over to that that side of the like that door. Are you uh, are you familiar with a with a tent over in the in the corner just by the Hall of Mirrors? It's it's red and white, and it kind of goes up and has these horns. Are you familiar with such a tent? Maybe and a guy in there. He's got a mask and all fancy, but carnivaly, and he got this split and like happy, sad. You know what I'm talking about? You know that guy, right? Um, he looks, he raises an eyebrow, looks over to the bugbear behind you, who you guys, uh, Goob like and Jay would see just shrugs. <laughs> and then he looks back at you. Can't say I recall. You got a lot of people around here, you know, you maybe just forget a face, right? No, I, well, everyone here is like one big family to me and I wouldn't forget their names, middle names, or last names. Know where they came from, or their hopes and dreams, I, well, we take care of each other. Okay, what's my last here. name? Black, isn't it? Gublek Black? Middle name G. Black. Gublek G. Black? What's my first name? It's Gublek. Gublek? Gublek? Middle name Gublek? Black? <laughs> last name Gublek. Uh, Gub... Gublek... <laughs> Gublek turns into a limbless blob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, even if you don't remember this tent, it's over there. And we... I guy gave me some cards, and so... Uh, I need friend. to speak with you three in private anyways, due to your escapades around the carnival. And on the way, I suppose you can show me this tent that you are speaking of. Sure, yeah, okay, I'll show you the tent. Because it that's why I got the cards, and that's why that... Person was really angry, I guess. The rest of you, and he looks over at all the uh, people who run the carnival, and he looks like very sorrowful. He says, I am deeply sorry the tragedy that befell our carnival here at the in the hometown of the Feywild. I am supposed to protect all of you, and today I fail. We will be moving into a different plane by tomorrow morning. Should you not wish to stay, you are free to leave. Uh, follow me to my tent, uh, you. And where's the blue one? Well, that's kind of what we... We'll talk about it on the way. Hell! Oh, you too, Gublek. You were such a <laughs> marvelous fighter. Your aid is, is will be rewarded. Okay. Gublek is our head of security. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone um, get in, no one get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay, so... Jay, like, yeah. yeah, she slowly stands up. She kind of just sat there the entire time in silence while uh, the fight was going on um biting her lip anxiously kind of deal and she just kind of follows along with with chip and Cass. relax all right it's it'll be fine you just <laughs> we're all good we're all g huh? yeah we're all we're all g yeah he's the chosen one it's not like i don't know you saw the wall this wasn't in the prophecy he's fine unless there's another chosen one like we we're talking about then i guess it doesn't even matter right hey felipe <laughs> yeah zip it Lock it, put it in your pocket. That's so cringy. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> he zips. God, I love Floop. <laughs> you guys are following Cass and you get to mm -hmm. that point where you say the tent was and you see with your own eyes the tent is not there. Look, Cass, all right, this is what I was talking about. So we lost our friend and stuff like that. This happened. But it. what really happened is I got the cards from right... Oh no, you lie! You lose! You, um... <laughs> no, it was... You keep mentioning you. these cards and, uh, Chip, I believe... Uh, would you mind showing them to me? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're they're right here. Okay, he holds the deck in his hand, and his hair blows back. <laughs> like when you grab something that's really powerful and it like fucking <laughs> blasts your hair back. Anyways, <laughs> why didn't it do that for us? <laughs> that been because in, in Cass's hands, it's fucking fully powered. I don't know. Oh no, um, shit! Anyway, so he's holding it, and uh, just for effect, he makes his own hair blow back. <laughs> <laughs> he just does that whenever he grabs anything. 
<laughs> Whoa. Uh, and then he looks um, like wide eyed, almost crazily concerned at these this deck of cards. He's kind of like uh, reading its properties. And he looks at you and he doesn't hand them back. But instead, he says this from casting identification is the deck of many things and it is the most wild magic a wondrous item can get. How it was acquired or made is unknown, probably even to the pantheon of any realm, of any plane. So, so this Why is like you have it, I, I do not know, but its magic is not to be trifled with. I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't trifling. I wasn't trifling. I wasn't doing it. I got it from, from the, from the guy in your carnival. He looks back over to the empty space. <laughs> it was there. <laughs> can I walk over? Uh, I just want to sort of waddle over there and see if I can maybe make an arcana check to see yeah, if, roll, if anything roll, roll. was here. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a fat 10, boys. Uh, With nice. a 10, um, it's not enough to see anything remaining, but there is a small difference in the arcane magic that surrounds, like, and not encompasses, but just kind of, like, moves throughout the carnival. And the presence of magic here is just a tiny bit different, like the school or just whatever kind of magic is here. It's lingering, it's subtle, it's, it's, um, but it's not enough to like pinpoint what it is. It was sitting right there in your carnival and I, and the guy just gave me a set of cards for your improv show. And without thinking you drew them? How many did you draw? Yes, I drew a card, okay? I drew a card from a deck of cards. You drew them, or did someone else draw them? Well, someone else drew them. Well, that crazy lady drew that. <laughs> That's probably why she was so angry, right? And your... But it's the magic. Your friend, the, the fishy one. He's not here anymore. He drew a couple. I have no way to, to help locate your friend. Well, now, you need to you find straight one. Straight up. Because our friend's gone from a thing that happened in your carnival. And I, I you took his, his frog to puss. And, and there's a... You have to help us. This is your problem. Well, we leave one star. Gublek, you work here. I'm very sorry. I apologize for the things that have happened to you in this... And what is our home, but... Your actions around this carnival, I mean, it brought, it brought sadness and chaos in a place that is not meant to have such things. And when that happens in this carnival, there's a reason that our rules, anomalies can occur. No, no, that, that all happened because you took Guild's, Guild's Frogtopus. What about her? You have her too? I have. He begins to say, I have no idea what you're talking about, and then like pauses for a second. It was a little girl with a pig mask. Okay, I, uh, I can tell you about that. I cannot tell you if it's related to your friend disappearing. I do not know if the cards and the ghoulish girl with the pig mask are related. But in the chance that they might be, I can give you all that I know and help you go from there. And I know you're upset and worried and concerned. Yeah. But I am telling the truth when I say there is nothing I can directly do. And let me explain. Have you heard around here any rumor or talk about something um concerning three hacks yeah a couple times no so they took the frog to they have gillian the truth is three hacks and this isn't known to anyone else and i'm sorry gooblek you have to find out this way oh no <laughs> you just happen to be here those three hags that story and domain the domain of prismere and and whatnot that is a cover story there is no such thing as three hags that have control over this carnival. It's just not, it's not the fool. It's not the truth. What is the truth is that there is um, someone who they call, well, let me back up. There is, um, there is a very powerful archface sorceress named Celestine. And in the Feywild, where we currently stay, archface who have incredible power and emotion can create their own domains within the Feywild due to that powerful emotion. And Celestine is one of the most powerful one of them all, and she has her own domain. Someone, referring to himself as the Doctor, has essentially taken Celestine hostage and has complete control over her domain. Now Celestine is very dear to me, a very dear friend. This carnival was a gift, this carnival that she gave me so that I may travel the different worlds and different planes and bring joys to those who lack it. I cannot ever come in contact with Celestine because of the nature of our wild magic in the same room would cause too much chaos. But with this carnival, I can at least be in contact. 
And since the doctor has taken over, he holds her in front of me like a human shield and has me on this leash. The deal is she will not die. Nothing will happen to her negatively as long as I allow him and his lackeys to access my carnival in the different planes and steal unreplaceable or irreplaceable things from those who come into the carnival to further his whatever his agenda is. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. How do we get the Celestine's plane? There's a portal in the Hall of Illusions which they come in and out of, undetected, and if any of my helping hands, such as Gublek, sees anything, they have to ignore it for their safety and for Celestines. So that's it then, we just, we go in there, right Jay? We just, they're probably the ones that put the cards there, they probably wanted to get Gil, we just go get him. Or maybe, new Gublek friend, we move on. I'm kind of a Gublek here, <laughs> like. Yeah, okay, hang on, hang on. I turn to Jay, how does Jay look? Worse now than before after okay, the news like I... that carnival 10 was not there. <laughs> this is some villainous make... shit, bro. No, like, I don't no. know. I make okay, and I go to dab. I'm gonna go to dab Jay up. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, let's roll for it. All right, all right, all right. This is gonna be a grapple, grapple, I guess. Grapple yeah, check. Yeah. Natural 20! <laughs> okay, I roll a zero because I don't roll at all. Uh, you just slap me in the face. <laughs> I do the sickest, to her fully limp, like flaccid face, I do the sickest dab ever. <laughs> there's like caresses, there's like strokes, there's like wrist motions, fingers, and it's like caress, caress her face and pull back. There's this like okay. residue on my face, but she's... Yeah, you feel, and also at the very end, you feel you feel a tiny pinprick, weirdly <laughs> enough, uh, and you see a small trace amount of blood uh, uh, moves up. Uh, Gulak <laughs> shoved into his body. Downloaded! Chip, I don't know if we're gonna find Gillian in there. No, no, it's fine. It was, look, he but, said that, that they were taking over, and it was it was like a... Probably just them, right? Or the, the doctor. If they've stolen Ooh. from you... And you want your things back, whether it be your friend or your friend's companion. If you're brave enough, confronting them is your best option. I'm, I can show you the way. I'm just sorry I can't do more. Just take us there and we'll figure it out. It's not your fault, yeah. These cards, do you wish to hold on to them? We can put them in special place forever. I look over at Jay and, <laughs> Jay and Chip quizzically. I'll, I'll keep them. I'll keep them for now. As you wish. He holds him, hands him back, putting complete trust in you, despite describing how powerful these cards are. <laughs> if you see anything about the the tent, you know, if you see another tent with horns, just find us. I guess you know where we'll be. You guys are leaving tomorrow, right? Can we uh, rest for a bit? Traveling between domains will restore you to whatever restful state you are required. It just happens to be the nature with plane shifting. Yeah, Jay, let's just, let's just go now. Okay. I wish to give you something. I, I can't help to luckily, but maybe this will... He sort of does this magic trick style um, sleight of hand where he makes this uh, rose appear. And it is a chromatic rose. He's going to hand it to Jay. It's shifting constantly between five colors um, and you'll roll... Or six colors and you'll roll a d6. And if you land on like a six, you'll get all the colors at once. How about that? Um, and depending on what color you land on whenever you use this, it'll have a different effect. Ooh. And he says, whenever you hold this rose, you will gain resistance to a certain type of damage. And if you were to um, use, you know, uh, an action <laughs> in mechanical terms to uh, <laughs> blow <A> what? <laughs> one of the petals, you could produce uh, a, a um, sort of a cone of whatever kind of damage you are resistant to. And anyone in that cone will take a ton of damage. <laughs> He explains like a DM. <laughs> <laughs> we are and, in the uh, game. They'll have to make a save, and they'll take a down ton of damage anyway. So there you go. Hopefully this will aid you on your oh, way. That's that's so that's so on the nose. How much damage does it do? Like in in D eight terms, maybe or D tens or D twelves. Wow, <laughs> incredible. Yeah, thanks for the help, Cass. I appreciate it. Can you take us to this portal now? Uh, yep. Maybe. Uh, Gublek, you can come too. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, he was gonna come whether you said that or not because he's my best friend. Okay, Felipe. I start assimilating Felipe. <laughs> okay, I tickle you, I tickle you. Oh. <laughs> so tickling me, oh. fucking dude. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, take your marrow. This is I take really your fucking now. sad, dude. Take look your around from you. Your bones. You look, oh. you, you look around, and also the all the grass of the carnival is dead. Flowers oh, are shit. wilted. Um, everything looks fucking depressed. All the colors have been sucked out of the tents and the surrounding rides. None of the rides are running. The uh, Calliope or the the big instrument, moving instrument uh, thing 
is playing the slowest, saddest, out of tune music you can think of. And he leads you to the Hall of Illusions cast as. And as you walk through the different mirrors, funny enough, you guys still still do see your young versions of yourself, teenage, adult. Um, one of the mirrors that you walk past, you see a younger version of Cass who is wearing like more uh, fantasy type outfit, you know, like that white sort of a uh, shirt and uh, navy blue plant, navy blue pants. And for, for though, I really want to know what Gublek sees when he walks past the mirror. <laughs> I would like to say for the younger mirror, you do not see anything. He's not there for some reason. And then the slightly older uh, 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 mirror, you see as um, uh, it looks like Felipe is struggling to uh, to get out of, of Gublek. <laughs> looks like Gublek has his legs. Uh, in the next uh, mirror, Gublek is up to his knees about, um, and Felipe is is grabbing onto a nearby uh, uh, ledge. And uh, and in the in the last mirror, the last thing you see is a is a, uh, a, a little frog hand sticking out of Kublek, um, fully fully consuming him forever. You guys come to a mirror <laughs> that is your current present age, and with his cane, I mean both of his eyes and the head of the cane swirl with these uh, like a, like beautiful array of multicolors, and he just taps it once, and the mirror ripples. And then opens up this sort of um, shimmering portal that casts its purple glow on all of you. And um, he looks at you again sorrowfully and says, There will be no carnival to return to. I wish you all luck and uh, I hope to see you in your own plane during brighter times. Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, I, I think we'll be fine. Good luck with your carnival. A lot of people um, were lost today due to Belstrom. You see, as, uh, as he says this and he looks down, uh, uh, Gublek looks down as well, and a little tendril comes up and, uh, and pats him on the shoulder. Um, and sa- and he says, um, Mr. Cass? Yes, Gublek. I quit the job! <laughs> he jumps through the portal! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's awesome. You're all bastards. Um, yeah, You're Jay all just bastards. kind of walks, walks through bastards. the portal. Bastards, this silently. is your fault. You're all bastards. <laughs> <laughs> we are bastards. Absolute fucking assholes. Felipe looks at Cass and he says, I can't say anything here because we're really meta, man. I mean, we're played by the same guy. <laughs> um, well, I'll smell you later. And then he hops in the, <laughs> the portal. Oh, fuck, dude. And oh, man. Oh. All of you get sucked within a vortex, and within moments after falling through this, like, space-themed uh, nothingness, you end up standing oh, in... Space Mountain! Another sort of... Another sort of, like, a different kind of nothingness. You're standing on what seems to be a smooth obsidian platform. All around you is just kind of the void with maybe, like spectral uh, or or not spectral but like slight glowing purplish red gradients uh it looks like you're kind of in space we need in to a kill way the ender dragon <laughs> Fuck off. yeah yeah pretty much that's that's pretty much what it is except you're on like a like a black polished platform there's nothing behind you there's nothing to your left and right but in front of you is this very large white like like double like two doors like white door that's like wooden and it looks to be the entrance to a very very large house a house that is that resembles almost our modern day houses like just like a suburban like like a suburban <laughs> home. modern yeah like nuketown type house oh, super damn. big mm. pink walls uh, like pink, pink slate walls, white doors, and it's it's so large. The door is so large you can't really see like the roof of it. It just sort of fades into black. Do I um, recognize this place by any chance? You do not. But you all would know that you have transferred into a new domain. What's the play? So we get a long rest. Yep, you long rest. Sweet. Just say that out okay. loud so you guys are not at four HP. I think we, we just, already regained all rest. rest. We're good. We're short rest. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. But I do need my spell slots back. Felipe finally comes, steps out of the portal, eyes. He goes, "Oh, fat." You should have heard over there. He had a lot of sad backstory that he didn't get to say. <laughs> no, it's okay. I heard it earlier. Good thing you left, man. Like, that was, I'm fucking gonna cry. <laughs> Look, it's his fault, all right? He should have known what was going on in his carnival. Let's just figure this out and go. People make mistakes, man. Haven't you ever, like, done that before? I made a mistake. Gil is gone. Don't you get it? We just, we gotta go no, get him I back. I don't know, man. Maybe, like, don't blame other people for your fucking problems or whatever. <laughs> no, it's okay. Good vibes. I mean, he didn't make Gillian draw a card. Was, whatever. <laughs> 
Hey, are we gonna do this today or what? Yeah, I, let's like, just I'm go do it. Angel. Let's go do it. Hey, Chip. What? You finally, and you, you look over, I assume, right? Yeah. And uh, you, you finally kind of get a good look at Jay, and it looks like she's been kind of holding back tears this entire time, and they're, they're finally sort of, you know, coming out. Whoa, whoa, what? Hey. Gillian's gonna be okay, right? Hey, yeah, yes, of course. I, I, I'll go and I'll, I'll hug her. She, like, yeah, she, like, tucks into your shoulder and kind of, like, grabs you by, like, you know, the, like, almost the collar her, next to the shoulder. Yeah. Hold her head down. He's probably here. We're gonna, we're gonna find him here, and it's... Chip, I can't lose somebody again, not like this. We're not losing anybody. We're gonna get him back to the ship, sail away like this never happened. And you, uh, uh, Jay, you feel a wet sensation on the back of your leg. <laughs> it's so hard to do serious moments with both Felipe and Goopy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're fucking crying, man. It's just Gilead. Dude is immortal. Felipe! What? Relax. Not the time. The Chosen One never dies. It's not being the a time. fucking idiot. Okay, well. I'm sorry, I just need to hear it again. Push her forward and hold her shoulders like I'm looking you dead in the eyes. There's definitely some fear in, in his eyes, but like he's, he's very much trying to hold it together and like got a lot of false hope it is okay gil is gil is here we're gonna get him and we're, we're gonna get back to the ship okay we're not losing anybody i promise she kind of wipes the tears from her eyes <laughs> stop fucking crying guys <laughs> <laughs> jesus <man. laughs> at the very least when we do find gillian i'm not gonna show up without pretzel Oh, dude, Pretzel's the MVP, man. God. Goob like, you're gonna love Pretzel. You just have to hold it together right now, okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeehaw. He's only gone if we don't find him, so we have to find him. <laughs> like, yeah, you're broke. right. Come on, look, man. After all, he's, he's, he's Gillian. <laughs> it's, it's his destiny. We find him! Riptide Pirate on three! Yeah, how do you know, even, man? Yeah, how do you even know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, he's sucking our memories! This is death, what? <laughs> Goob like, what the fuck? We go back to ship! Oh, guys! Oh my god! Goob like, um, never mind, <laughs> sorry. I overheard something crazy. Uh, uh, uh Goob like just looks deep into Felipe's eyes and says, I know! Jay, do you think we could kill both of them and then just go? Yeah, nobody would notice. I don't think I don't see anyone around here. They could both die right now, and there would be no consequences. That might be a play. Yeah, that might be. Yeah, no one I'm except me. And you see us stepping out the door, pulling off a cloak. <laughs> it's me, uh, uh, Charlie Slimesicle. Is there a, uh, a, a ledge forward. nearby? <laughs> Is there a ledge? Yeah, DM. you see this giant DM <laughs> hand come from the void, pick up Charlie Slimes so and then finally take him away and deliver ah! fucking nothing. Ah! <laughs> it's fucking bizarre, and you forget you saw it as soon as it happens. Well, that's weird. I swear there was a guy up there just now. Yeah, that's weird. Jay, we're gonna find him, all right? We're gonna find him, yeah. Oh, right, that's- I've remembered. I overheard that, um, when we get back, you- like, time might- like, we better hurry up, because we might get back and our world might not even be there, so... <laughs> That's all. Every one second, three years! Something like that. Alright, what? One second yeah. is three years? Wait, that's uh, something like that. That's really not good. Yes. Oh my god, Ollie's gonna be older than me. No, I, I doubt it. He's probably like a fucking crazy pirate captain now. I never even met him, but I did meet him actually. <laughs> never mind, we went to the zoo. He's probably a crazy pirate captain. He's probably killed everyone. No, he's not. No, he wouldn't do that. He's probably like a cool pirate captain. And like when I show up, he's gonna be like my cool pirate, like, like co-captain. Dude, you are so oblivious. Pay attention, man. He's about to go into his rebellious phase. You can see it. I'm already in mine. If it's if one second is three years, <laughs> he'll be way past it. Let's just go. Uh, All right, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. I oh, sick, man. I'm in. You guys go and you turn the knob of the door, open it, walk in, and as soon as you do, not only does the door shut behind you, but in front of you, first thing you hear and see is a man in a polo shirt turn over his shoulder and say, Oh, welcome home, sport! You wanna help with dinner? Oh my god. And then god. you look around and you see uh, a woman with curly blonde hair, this man with like short silver hair, and then a little like <laughs> toddler daughter, and then there are six chairs on this long dining room table in this suburban home kitchen with a chandelier over top pulled out waiting for you. And he says, yeah, just come on in here and help set the table. All right, champs? Dad? Oh, no. Yeah, son? <laughs> what? And that's where we end the session. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my dad. Can you be? Next episode, Chip gets a father. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Again. Finally. This is the episode the you've time. all been waiting for. <laughs> uh, after, after Chip asks, can you be Gublek? Looks up at him and says, yes. Gublek will be my new dad. <laughs> Finally. That was cool. We're in. That's why you have US dollars. We're in dollars. the American dream, oh. guys. It's real. The nuclear that's family. Ah, uh, the USD. Yeah, that makes sense. Guys, I've got bad Everything news. The up. nuclear family. It's only got two kids. Yeah, you guys get the fuck out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Next I need episode, this. Chip I... kills his friends to have a real dad. Worth it. Why didn't you deny that? Why didn't you deny that? <laughs> I said that? worth it. I said it's worth it because I'll do oh. it. Surprise, everyone. The episode is no longer over. There's something that uh, Charlie and I want to do for you guys and for him. Him as in Gillian. Uh, just a warning though, we're going to, what? because Gillian isn't dead dead. <laughs> kind of warning. This, uh, this little segment as we explore what's going through Gillian's mind, where he's at, what's going on. It can, there is possibility that it can get a little heavy. So just forewarning. I'm not sure, but I'm just giving you, I'm just giving you a heads up before we get into it. Cool, thanks for letting me know, so, DM! <laughs> oh shit, all Gillian, right, all right. I'm getting in. The second your hand touches the card from the deck of many things in the carnival, surrounded by this erupting chaos of Belstrom uh, shattering, and you get a glimpse, shattering that glass, and you get glimpses of people being struck by the glass, and you draw this card, assuming it's all improv and you know this from when you drew the rogue card. That touching the card as you draw it, you get the sense of exactly what it does. When you drew the dungeon card, you disappeared from sight and immediately were aware of being imprisoned. And time for you no longer binds you. It doesn't exist. The last thing I see is Charlie Slimesicle in a robe walking down the stairs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Protect and you him. know he's about to steal your money. <laughs> no! <laughs> But you also know that you're trapped you in some extra-dimensional space where your friends can't find you without some sort of very powerful wish spell or no other equivalent. And you've left them. And what comes to dawn on you as a very dangerous situation. And all of this realization starts to hit you at once. Not only do you realize that, that you're gone and there's no way back, and you have no idea if they're gonna find you. You also realize that the rogue card told you exactly who is has a you know who it switched how they feel about you, and you you realize it was Felipe, oh. and that his aggression was not. It wasn't a bit. It wasn't improv. It was real. Can I move? Or like um, your experience see? right now, you're blind. You have no sensation of any of your senses. Okay. There, it's all gone. You're blind. You don't hear anything, you don't feel anything, and as this realization of the card's effects on Felipe hit you, you also know that whereas his aggression wasn't a bit, same thing for Belshaw. <laughs> oh really? Her killing everyone in the audience wasn't a... Oh. And all of that hits you in one moment, in an instant. It feels, it feels like a lot, and but for you, because there's no such thing as time right now, it all just kind of happens okay. in one moment. And the second you try and feel some sort of movement, you find yourself, your eyes open to a void of white space. Nothing around you but the color white. You're on some three-dimensional surface, but there is no, there is nothing that has form around you. It is yeah. a completely alone environment, or a completely lonely environment. I think the, the, the first thing I'd try and do is, um, oh man. Uh, I just look around. Chip? Jay? Felipe? When you yell out, your voice echoes in a numerous amount of times, almost like the fucking Spongebob <laughs> episode <laughs> where Squidward goes alone. Um, and it just, your voice carries out until it's too, the echo itself, the reverb is too quiet to discern. Don't worry. Responds. I won't leave you like that. I'm coming! And I just start running in a random direction as fast as possible. As you start running, some figure interrupts your path and you get stopped by what is this large, hovering above you, um, a sizable mass of shadow that is also sort of glitchy and, and 
and blurry like it's like it's like a um something like an electronic shadow trying to load in a video game this form is familiar in the sense that you recognize that it is a triton but it's just a silhouette a very glitchy uh, uh, silhouette and as it right in front of you and blocks your path one appears behind you to your south and then another to the left and right. And the four of them hover above you in this diamond or compass formation where they're all surrounding you. And you get the sense that you can't move forward past them. Very uh, Kingdom Hearts-esque. <laughs> like, 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 whoop, 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 doesn't work. It's just four of them. I, I think the first thing I do, I'm, I'm, I'm very frantic kind of trying to look, you know, for anything that I recognize. But barring that... Um, knowing that my friends are in danger, I guess I'm going to try and very quickly take in these figures that are blocking me. Yeah, you, I mean, you get the sense, uh, again, from that car that you drew, that there is no way out of your imprisonment yeah. right now. Okay. There's no way back to your friends. You easily get that sense. The card lets you know with its magical properties. And looking around at these figures, I don't know, it's a lot to take at. It's very heavy. Look around these figures. The one that you recognize, you obviously can see that it is a Triton um, just by its silhouette. You see another one that you recognize as like a turtle form that you've seen before. Uh, another one, you can't really discern its race just from the silhouette, but it has a more feminine slender frame. And then you see a small Felipe sized <laughs> uh, silhouette as well behind you. I see him everywhere I go. I you don't know it's the same race. what's going on here. I don't know if I need to make some sort of dark deal with you creatures, but I need to get back to my friends. <clears throat> Oh, a shit, voice sort talking. of, a voice sort of, uh, in this like very electronic sort of way, uh, all around you, you can hear a voice come out from the Triton silhouette. Gillian definitely jumps says, at that. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Okay. It says, Ahem, "You stand trial before the Elder Council of the Undersea. Please state your name for the record." Gillian, wait, what is this? Who are you? Is this again? Is it you stand. Trial in front of the Elder Council of the Undersea for crimes against our nations. As I'm, I'm very taken aback by this. Does this seem like a moment in time, or does this seem like this guy is here putting me on trial? Like, is this like jogging a memory, or is it like, oh shit, I'm on trial now? Like, this person is responding to me. You know what I mean? The way that this makes you feel, mm -hmm. how do I describe it? It doesn't feel necessarily like this is happening in reality, if that makes sense. But at the same time, it feels very real to you. I get it. Because you recognize these figures. And in a way, this sort of situation is one that you've imagined would happen, but never wanted it to be like actually happen, if that makes sense. Oh. You as Charlie would gather <laughs> <laughs> that this situation is a like personification of an, inter an internal conflict gillian tidestrider and what do i stand trial for besides getting a little edgier recently gillian Grr. tidestrider former champion of the undersea what we bring you to trial for your many crimes of not being the prophetic hero that you mean to be but a prophetic screw-up that you have yet to prove otherwise. You have a moment to speak in defense before we start examining your many sins. Listen, there must be some kind of mistake. I know I've, uh, I've floundered a little bit in the past, but, um, I mean... <laughs> you hear, uh, you get interrupted by the uh, Felipe-sized shadow yeah. behind you who goes, <laughs> and, 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 that, um, and that's true. <laughs> it's silhouette. I mean, you have no idea what he said. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just agree with it because he's a person of authority currently. You agree with it. The feminine uh, silhouette says, Translation, there is no mistake. You are expelled from the undersea. And now you have a proper trial to redeem yourself. Should you be found guilty, it will take much more than freeing you from your imprisonment to wake your soul again. But if you have grown and are found innocent, then perhaps there is a chance for you yet, and you will no longer be destined to ruin that of which you touch. Gillian is is um, visibly smaller in the presence of these people, probably about 5'1". Um, 
he is <laughs> <laughs> he's actually Trump <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's shrinking <laughs> he's shrinking to 5-1 it's becoming canon again um, yeah he doesn't even like you see he's shaking for the first time not really in in anger but more in sort of inability to do anything about this the trident speaks once more and says then you are ready to begin your trial It'll take as long as you need Yes, I need to be ready now. I'll, I'll, I'll fight a whale, I'll eat a beach, just whatever it takes. I'm ready. For real this time. <laughs> yes, totally. One second. <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, he just sits there, um, kind of breathing. He thought for a second, I, I think that... Um, trying to, to verbally explain or to, or to defend himself would be worth it. But I think he knows that that in the face of this kind of overwhelming authority that the best he can do is kind of respond when he's asked. That's how he feels. We first examine Gillian Tidestrider's flaw of wrath. Do you believe your view of good and evil is unflawed? Or do you have doubts that the morals instilled within you are incorrect. You taught me what was good and what was evil. You also taught me to speak my truth. In these adventures I've shared with Chip, Jay, Pretzel, Felipe, he was basically he was like there the whole time, it feels like now. I've realized that maybe seeing things as black and white is just easy, but it's gotten harder. Sorry. You hear again. <laughs> and then once again, well I will refer to the more uh, feminine framed silhouette as the water genocide. Or genasi. Mm -hmm. And they say, uh, once again, translation. Your words hold no weight in front of the Council of the Elders. What? Instead, show what you've learned by your actions. And this white space around you begins to morph and fade into what is a oh, very fuck. familiar sort of memory. You are standing on land. It's nighttime. In front of you are the glowing warm torches uh, and campfires that illuminate a series of tents. And it hits you that this is not necessarily a real place you've been to but it is a similar simulation that you've had to deal with when you were being trained. In the undersea, there is a facility or a building that you were essentially tested on a few certain key things about what it means to be the prophetic hero of the undersea. And for this one, the room simulates, and they begin to explain it to you at this point actually around you. You can hear their voices sort of above in the sky. Like, you have that familiar Triton voice who you at this point would also recognize from your childhood. And he says, Before you is a camp of human soldiers in the oversea. Here they come to rest, unexpectant of any sort of battle maneuver. If this is wartime and you're instructed to take care of these humans because they pose an evil threat and danger to the undersea and its civilization, how do you act? Well, show us but, what you've Oh, learned. okay. Yeah, I should do it. Um, you know that what they test you on here is if, if you have, despite the challenges that may come with it, the discipline to rid this world of evil, regardless of the face it takes, no matter how innocent. And it I'd seems. remember this that they did this, right? Yeah. Okay. You are free to think about what Gillian did before, or if you want to tell me what he did. Before, after. I think I present. know exactly what Gillian did before. And I think it was basically hit something really loud and say, come out and let's fight for the future of the world. Um, pretty much. Yeah, I know how that would have gone. But this time, he's going to remember that. I think he's sort of faintly in a weird mirage like uh do whatever Gillian like does, sequence yeah. sees himself <laughs> curled up on the ground getting hit with clubs. <laughs> um, Definitely, um, um, probably not actually what happened. These soldiers aren't strong. Oh, okay. They're not stronger than Gillian. Okay, he sees himself standing in a big fire screaming. He is going to look around. Are there- This camp is asleep. Yeah, everyone's asleep? 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it look like there's like a tent that's bigger than the rest of the tents? Like a leader? Yeah. 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 Uh, he kind of walks through nervously, uh, uh, even looking up and around, wondering if these Did figures are still, any of still the, like, watching him. Uh, I don't, I don't think well. he would. I don't think he would. Um, I, I think that if there's any like open, like any flaps open as he's walking to this place, he would look in. Um, Tell you what. Go ahead and roll two things. Okay. Roll perception and self. Do I have armor on right now? No. You don't even have your sword. Sword, Dad. What's? Oh no. Um. This is the first. He hasn't this is the first hasn't flat, made it to you. <laughs> flat stealth roll Gillian has ever done, and it's a six. <laughs> All right. Um. Awesome. For so for perception, it is going to be a natural one. <laughs> so okay. All good stuff, guys. Oh, it, it's on actually my uh, big fucking test. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I rolled really low for perception wise, but you don't see much, so you won't even know. Okay, what happens? Yeah, he, he's not. Uh, he, he's not really in it right now. Um, he walks up to the leader tent. Hello, knock knock. There is uh, an immediate kind of like rustling inside the tent as soon as you make your voice known, and a large sort of uh, almost like Goliath of a man steps out. Whoa, um, no, we an actual like Goliath. Yeah, and he steps out. Uh, like really rushed and half dressed uh, with like a like holding something behind his back as he steps out okay. and he sees you and his first instinct is to like grapple your throat. Hey, I was hoping we could talk about <laughs> it's a grapple, right? So do I roll uh, athletics? Yeah. Contested? I would say he rolled an eight. Okay. I got my <laughs> fuck me. I rolled another natural one, bro. But I did get an eight. Okay, I got so an eight as well. I got an eight. All right. I mean, he didn't roll a natural one. So I'll just say in this moment, okay. like you're not technically grappled, but yeah. he has managed to get his hands on your throat and he has some behind his back and he says, stick your business. What are you doing here? My Where name is- Why do you look like that? Okay, okay, yeah, hang on. I'll get to all of them. My name is Gillian Tidestrider. Maybe champion of the undersea, possibly hero of the deep sometimes, hopefully still. And I have been sent here by the elders of the Undersea to neutralize a threat. But I was hoping- so he like rips out this, <laughs> okay, this dagger and like holds it to your okay. throat now. Speak your words carefully, trespassing on family grounds. But I wanted to speak with you and see why you were here. Persuasion. <laughs> 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 he just like smiles super awkwardly. Uh, okay, for your other agent. question, I'm fish. <laughs> God damn it, I got a 10. A 10, okay. He's not gonna kill you with a 10, but. <laughs> okay, good. I just wanna find out what he's what he is doing here, like actually. Your kind is trying to kill all the land. He speaks really awkwardly, like they don't quite know. He doesn't sound like any human you've met, like humanoid yeah. you've met. He says, you are the enemy, and I have no reason not to gut you here now. He's gonna roll to strike. Oh shit. He rolled a nine by 12, 12 doesn't hit, does it? Do I? Even without armor? Without armor, bro. Without armor, my AC is, let me pop it, 10. Actually, wait, without a shield too, right? Yeah, without a shield. My AC is eight. <laughs> oh my god. My deck sucks ass. We're both rolling low, but it doesn't even matter. Oh god, this is so, this is awkward. Basically, what he does is he sort of uh, like sla like slashes across your chest instead of your neck and then throw tosses you on the ground and knocks you prone. Okay. And he begins to uh, run back into the tent, presumably to start alarming the... Hey, get back here! <laughs> I'm gonna run <laughs> after him. <laughs> okay, you rush into his tent and you see terrified in sort of like little uh, like rolled up bags and then one cot. There's a child sleeping and uh, like a wife. And he rolls and he turns around, he's still holding that knife and he has this like like trumpet or, or alarm system that he's about to, to ring. And he sees you rush in and you see this family that was asleep in here. And then as soon as you rush in, what do you do before he tries to kill you now? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see that he's going for the alarm and I'm gonna tackle him. <laughs> I'm gonna try and tackle okay, him before uh, he gets to it. Roll tackle. I forget what that roll is. Okay, roll I'm tackle. gonna try and grapple him too. I'm gonna try and grapple him. Good luck escaping my slippery grasp. Uh, fifteen. Uh, roll uh, two. <laughs> so you manage to tackle him to the ground, and you have him sort of pinned here. You hear the 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 uh, the wife go. Ah! 
<laughs> and then you hear the child go, Papa! Don't worry, um, everything's okay in here! He's gonna kill us! And they start like screaming um, at you as you have pinned him down. And he's struggling, even though he looks really big and strong, you have this power over him, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, man, I just want to know what you're doing here. Just like your kind, <laughs> to be evil and destructive and want the whole world to drown. Unhand me before I kill you. Okay, well, if I want the whole you world love. to drown, then why am I not drowning you right now? Why would I come in here? I, I, I snuck up on your camp. Your whole camp was sleeping. Your mind games, this trickery, whatever stra I, I strategy. I don't know any mind games at all. I'm okay, so well, dumb. Chance. I'm so stupid. I look up at the sky where I think the elders are. I'm so stupid. I'm literally fucked, man. Roll, roll what? Roll, uh, roll persuasion. One more time. 15. 15 this time. So at that point, as you're like pleading, I'm so <laughs> stupid. Uh, then the wife and the child are still screaming. He stops struggling for a moment. No, I want to know what's going on here just as much as you do. Because, you know, people you're say that here. about you guys too. They say, hey, they're trying to make everything dirt. Okay? They're trying to drink the whole sea and make us all dirt and kill us all. But I've met some really nice people who don't feel that way. So I wanted to come. Sorry I'm in your house. <laughs> this is very confusing for me. This is a war between the Oversea and the Undersea. I have to fight to protect my family and my human race, he says awkwardly as a human. <laughs> like all of them? <laughs> like all of them. If you don't kill me, all of you and you and yours will die. You'd really spare an enemy against you. What will you do if I do? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not programmed to have a philosophical discussion. <laughs> you either kill me or you don't. Okay, well, if I... Hang on. You've got a, you've got a wife here. She seems nice. Your, your kid seems all right. <laughs> look, at, look at his cute little screams he's making. If I spare you, will you try and, I don't know, seek peace or something instead of trying to fill the sea with dirt? Well, whatever your plans are. What makes you so confident we can come to some sort of understanding? Because you haven't stabbed me yet. There is no peace in evil. What are you even... What? <laughs> There's no peace in evil? You're saying I'm evil? Yes. <laughs> I put my hand on his shoulder. No. Okay, do you stop <laughs> grappling him? Here. I'm going to stop grappling him and I'm going to say this to him. I'm gonna say, listen, I'm gonna let go of you now. I'm gonna let you out of my slippery, sucky grasp. I'm gonna let you out of my meniscus. And you have a choice. You can retreat and you can back off and not attack. Because God knows how many families there are down there too with women and children, except they're a little more blue. Or you can ring that bell that I have seen you eyeing and we can fight because other people want us to. It's your choice this time there's like uh a pause around where things don't really seem to move like the the, the man and the woman and like the woman and the child they stop screaming the man looks at you and i know how this goes and it doesn't end well for either of us after that pause without having to roll the alarm device he drops from his hand and he just looks at like the wife and then back at the child. And he looks at you with like a furrowed, uh, like brow. Sort of a stern expression. Please leave. And maybe one day, when you're back here on better terms, I can show you what a squirty is. I just want to say as well, this entire time Gillian is doing this, he has like... I like to think that he has fought this guy before. Like, multiple times because of the simulation. So like, he's seen how this goes. I think this entire time he's trying to have this conversation with this person that's not even real. He's like sort of getting flashes of of previous times, you know, rolling around with this person on the ground. This is kind of where it gets heavy because it's not just this person. I mean, Gillian would know that every tent in here, this is supposed to be where these soldiers are safe with family. And the whole point of Gillian's wrath is that it doesn't matter if they have families. It matters that they're evil. And because of your actions now, I just need you to roll something that basically is going to decide whether you mentally succeed or mentally oh, fail. Oh, shit. Okay. So I'll just say roll like a wisdom save. Okay. With your normal pluses. I got a 13, 
but I want to just for a second, I think about this and it's, and it's really fucking me up because I haven't been here since I like actually talked and journeyed with and, you know, had so many heartfelt moments with actual people, not fucking Digimon. And so Gillian really is going to stand there. He's going to clench his hands. He's going to think of Jay and Chip and all the shit they do. <laughs> They're not evil, but <laughs> goddamn Chip's a little sus. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use favored by the gods to just roll two more D4 to add to this. And that is going to bring me up to a 16. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> good. Uh, good thing you added that. I'll just say that now. Um, in your mind, everything about this sort of memory fades away back into that white space. Um, there is no like, like resolution to this memory. Just presuming because this is not okay. what happened right. in the past. Yeah, not at all. And you come back and you're still surrounded by those four silhouettes. And Whew. the Triton says, curious decisions. I know it's not how I was taught, and I am sorry for that. And in your defense, Gillian Tidetrider, do you believe that going against what you were taught is wrong? I, I don't know. Is that okay we to say two. in a trial that I don't know? I don't. Is that okay? Well, when you say I don't know, the water genasi, yes. they scoff like a, t and you hear like a contemplating hmm from the Felipe-sized one. The turtle stays silent, and the Triton goes. Well, we have two more cases to explore Oof. for you to figure your answer. And in your mind, there is this sense when you roll that wisdom save yeah. and you succeed. There is some semblance of feeling like you did what was right because you believed so. Okay. And not because someone else did. I know. I just think that in this room with these elders right now, Gillian is really not fucking sure. It's, a, it, it's very tiny about it. It's a, like a crack in the, in, the, in the armor that you have put over. Well, I'm on trial and I will do the best to represent champion of the undersea or not who I am both who you made me and who my friends have made me. So bring it on. How much sand do I need to eat? I'm really trying to give you other ideas because that was a lot. The water uh, genasi says, well, the next case that we look at and one of the many flaws of Gillian Tidestrider. Okay. And what makes him act so unpredictable. Yeah, he looks down. Is your pride. And that's where we're going to end this session. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh god, it's not just trauma! Oh, it's slow <laughs> burn trauma! No! <laughs> no! Yeah, oh. we're gonna keep doing this while they go and do whatever their little adventure is. Oh, this is we're so gonna keep great. coming back. Oh, this is wonderful! To oh god! In his In hell. mind. <laughs> Yay! Oh, fuck me. That was probably, I think, maybe the hardest one, but we'll see. Oh, shit. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little sneak or, or I guess, peek into into Gilly and as he is imprisoned and Fighting. I hope, gonna let's see him. if he beats Organization 13 in the next one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Gillian summons the Keyblade and in says, his heart. bring it on. I have no darkness in my heart. My light will overcome the darkness. Holy shit, Goofy! And then Goofy appears, and we'll see where that goes <laughs> next. Gorsh, Mickey. I mean, Gorsh, Gillian. <laughs> I wish Goofy right. was there, because this shit was not Goofy. Hey there. This was <laughs> not Goofy. Hey there. <laughs> hey there, Gillian. <laughs> so, so close to Felipe. Dude, baby. Can I, I love the idea that the Undersea has, like, a terrible, like, bloodshed mascot they send in with me. You're doing a great job, Gillian. Yeah. Is that what would comfort you? I mean, this is technically in your mind, so. No, I, actually, actually, I, but like in a fucked up way where it's like telling me to do the things that they train me to do. <laughs> you got to kill the whole village. Kill women and children too, Gillian. Make sure they can't reproduce. That was my first idea. It was to put you in a place like where there's a bunch of fucking like offspring of the humans <laughs> and be like cut it off at the source Gilly. Jesus Christ but I was like Jesus that might be a little too dark yeah that's uh, that's dark for him now 
Uh oh. Hey, maybe they have done it. I don't know. Yeah. Well. Well, I guess we'll. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, dude. The, oh God. Oh God. You wrote I eat babies on my character sheet. Fuck. It all makes sense oh, now. Wait. It does make sense oh, now. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. Literally. <laughs> uh, welcome to the what? Who the fuck are you? What? What, what is this? Huh? What? What are you doing? I'm gonna fucking shoot you. I get a gun. Huh? What the fuck is this? Riptide pirates, patrons. Why are you giving this to me? Oh, what the? You want me to send him a message? No, I don't fucking I don't want to talk to those fucking idiots. You want me to read this out? Seriously? <sighs> what do I get out of it? Oh, that's a lot of platinum. Okay, here we go. Alara the Alora. Thanks for supporting uh, the Riptide Pirates, Gabathian, uh, Drewy, Jessica Asher, Brayley. I gotta read all these. There's three fucking pages. Are you kidding me? Um, Brayley, uh, Daxi Boy, Big Man with the Big Plan, Hummel. I'm a big, I'm a small man with a small plan. Just had to put it out there. Oil Schneider, Arrow Peak, Vapor, Chunk Lord. Yo, what up? Uh, Arctic, fucking Ormsby. Why you guys got such complicated names, huh? One name, that's all you need. You don't need too many names, just one. Like me, Earl. <clears throat> Enter plus Calvin Sinton Panini. Oh, I got some of those here at my shop. Uh, Crimson Anomaly. Oh my god, what do you think I know how to read? Fix your name. Make it, you can literally, uh, Ghost Paladin. Paladin. Alex Lamb. How are you a Ghost Paladin, by the way? You literally want to, like, slay yourself. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Alex Lamb. JK. Judaberg, huge furball, Zavarocker, how, how am I supposed to say this, huh? huh? What do you got me reading right here? I'm like, about to fucking sign the d deal with the devil, you know what I'm saying? Archer Raccoon, Isabella Allen, I'm speaking Latin over here. Curb with Crocs, Drew Richards, Finley Lopez, Susan Ashman, Commotion into Ocean. <laughs> I get it. Shadow, Krim, Grayson, Okerboros, did someone say Colin? I'm butt flusting. We'll keep it to your damn self. Agustil Jaw, Beans, Wealthy, Jaden Grant, Joey Madness, Pippin the Maggie, <laughs> Pimpin, Pippin, not Pimpin, Just Gherkin, Mega Sionex, Tane Lambert the Snazziest, Sweet Cacti, Baka Seven, Cows the Folded Pizza Zone, and the Awesome Man. And now we're on to page two. Uh, give me some water. Oh, no, I'm too old for this shit. Mmm. Fly Guy, Hepper Curry, Dalton Lance, I see Sharky, Man Made Imp, Allison G, your personal jester, Jordan Darling, Red Sus Over Paradise, Sleepy Wither, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Kev Senpai, Arigato, I have jetted eyed, and I am dead and dead, Sag, Finrua, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Ju Zombo, Lost Goat, Grand Archer, Chloe, Rikardson, Artemis loves you, definitely not a turtle, Crobins, Bingu, Bitch, Deathclaw, Scarab 5, Sandy 007, Cheshire, Star Crown, Ro uh, Star Ravings, what are you raving about, huh? One thing you gotta be raving about is my orange, new orange tavern over here, bitch, Blue Blame Blob, Zerberus, Dino Plushy, Elven Cyborg, Alyssa, Jacob Magnick, Lord Ticklefish, Spin Yaks, Joel Talladay, Buttery Toast, Raytheon, Expoogaloo, Neo Dracotis Stewart, Serene is actually a skeleton, <laughs> doubt it, Material Seaweed, Teddy Loves Bites, <laughs> doubt it, Gillian's Biggest Fans, <laughs> doubt it, Cordier Comet, Sorcerer Pug, finally the third page, Purple PDF, Riker Crotu, Nonsolotl, Funny Hats Incorporated and JRWI Enjoyer and Che New L. Now get this head out of my face and get out of my place of establishment. I swear to God, I'm gonna shoot your ass. And next time the Riptide Pirates want me to read out their patrons, you tell it to read it their goddamn self. I don't got time for this shit. I'm trying to run an empire here. You know what I'm fucking.